Do not attempt to visit Ancho, New Mexico. It is on ranch land and is private property and a cattle grazing area. If you trespass, the sheriff will be called and you will be prosecuted. Do not attempt to contact the owners of Ancho. The buildings are historic, the land is currently in use, and the owners wish to be left alone. In 1906, San Francisco would be devastated by an earthquake. A little town in New Mexico would help them recover by sending them thousands of bricks from its little brick plant. From having a brick plant to being a railway town, this is the story of Ancho, New Mexico. We arrived to Ancho at high noon. As the New Mexico sun shined brightly on the desert plains, we began our exploration. This is one of the buildings. There's three buildings right here, three little houses. We are going to refrain from entering the buildings, but we will be looking from the outside in. Reason being, we have permission to be here, but the owners do not want us to go inside the buildings because if we get hurt, it could be a liability for them. And this house is absolutely beautiful. It is incredible. This whole place is incredible, honestly. It's really, really cool. Now we're heading over to the next little house situated just next door. These were all part of uh, the railroad back in the day. lawnmower in here. Oh, hi there, Kiwi. Alright. Here's the next building. The dead tree next to it looks rather ominous. All these houses used to be part of the railroad, which as you can see, goes right through the town. And look at this. How cool is this? This is incredible. Looks like the path leading up to it is rather broken, but that's okay. At an elevation of 6,129 feet in central New Mexico sits a small quaint town. By 1901, the railroad had made its way through the area that would become Ancho. That same year, gypsum deposits would be found in the nearby hills. Following that, a brick plant would be constructed, and Ancho would be founded. The brick plant would be constructed by the Rock Island Cement and Plaster Company. Construction would finish after only a couple years, just in time for the tragedy of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which would strike on April 18th at approximately 5.12 in the morning. 
Anjo would begin sending bricks to help in the reconstruction efforts, so much that by August 12th, they were 30 days behind their requests. The existence of the railway in Ancho made the shipping of the bricks a lot easier. And that 100-year-old railway still cuts right through the heart of Ancho. That same year, a new kiln would be completed, one that would increase the capacity of brick production to 350,000. Ancho was a relatively new town However, this early success would be its height. At the same time, Frank J. Bush was the postmaster of Ancho's brand new post office, which began construction in 1902. In 1917, the brick plant and kiln was sold to the Phelps Dodge Corporation, based in Arizona. Longtime viewers may remember the Phelps Dodge Corporation from our documentary in Bisbee, Arizona. They built a new 16 kiln plant in the town. However, by 1921, the plant would go bankrupt, and it was decided that it was no longer profitable and would close. This would devastate the town, and its future seemed unclear. However, this was far from the end for Ancho. So this is the back side of that house. the third and final house in this small row of houses. There is still more to Ancho beyond this. So we're gonna go check that out next and take a good old look for it. Don't go inside, Kiwi. Might get hurt. Wow, look at this. So this right here is all that remains of the old brick plant, this little building. So the plant itself was right here, you can kind of see some of the foundation still. Yeah, it's incredible. We're going to continue to look at uh, the rest of the town, what remains of it. If you look right over there, you can see the little neighborhood we were just in, right across the tracks. So over there is the church, and then uh, this is where we came from. And right next to the road you have this right here, which I believe was the old railway depot. Looks pretty freaking cool. During the years of the Great Depression, many would be absolutely financially ruined. Hundreds of people would move out west, looking to find a better life and a fortune. This would cause Ancho's population to swell. However, in the 1940s, as the economy began to improve, people once again moved out of Ancho. In the year 1930, Ancho's one-room wooden schoolhouse would burn down. It would be replaced by a brick schoolhouse, which now serves as the community's church. In 1937, the old brick plant was sold to the Abilene Salvage Company, who dismantled it and sold it for scrap. When Highway 54 was constructed in the year 1954, it was essentially a death sentence for Ancho. Bypassing the town by two and a half miles, nobody would even pass through 
anymore. In 1959, the railway depot would close down. It would become a museum in 1963, called My House of Old Things. By 1965, the post office, gas station, and schoolhouse were all closed. Today, Ancho is surrounded by ranches, the old buildings now on ranch land. Over the past few years, they have seen many vandals and looters. It must be stated again that Ancho is on private property, and in order to preserve its history, please do not attempt to visit the town. Not only is it an active cattle grazing area, but the mother of one of the owners of the property grew up in one of the houses, so it has sentimental value to them, as well as its historic value. Ancho, New Mexico is a fascinating town that has certainly made its mark on American history. Despite it often being overlooked, it is an incredibly important place, and now its story will never be forgotten. I'd like to say this gets more clear when it's more cloudy every day. But summer's gonna come and burn the stormy clouds and all the doubt away. Sleep, little girl, cause when you wake it's gonna be a different world. So close your eyes and say goodbye to spring. The spring is coming to an end. Ready? In 1906, an earthquake would devastate San Francisco. Bricks coming from a little town in New Mexico would help them recover. From having a brick plant that would change California to being a railway town, this is the story of Ancho, New Mexico.